All right, what's going on there, folks? Good evening, Earthmaster here, jumping in on this Monday evening, May 24th, 2021, 8.36 p.m. California time, and uh, hopefully you guys got a chance to check out that awesome sunset that I uh, just live-streamed here on the channel. If you didn't, it uh, should be uploaded here pretty soon. Actually, it's available, available here on the channel now, so go check it out. Um, if you get a chance there. It's pretty awesome, pretty spectacular, let me tell you. Earthquake activity. What is going on out here in the earthquake tectonic world? We're looking at a little decline of movement, folks, but we're looking at also a little uptick in earthquake activity outside of your abnormal or outside of your normal areas. Uh, for example, uh, Baja, California, down there around Southern California, south of the border, getting a little, little action with that 2.9. Um, and some further movement south of our main area of activity in Chile, uh, well down south here, a 4.6 in this area, uh, looking at about, uh, I'm not for sure the depth of that, looks like about uh, 10, kilometers, 10 kilometers or so for that 4.6. Uh, let's go ahead and shoot over here to the, uh, hold on a second here. We can get this thing working tonight, there we go. Uh, USGS map 2.5 and above a little bit of movement in these areas like I said outside of our boundaries for normal activity uh, such as southern southern Chile area south south of the region here kind of a oddball area I know I know we get earthquake activity but it's something that hasn't uh, that we haven't seen recently in this region so uh, 4.6 down here a little bit of mo uh, movement up here to the north as well with 4.1 but overall um, plate tectonic action and uh, shuffling of the plates has some, somewhat calmed down. Uh, looking over here towards the Indonesia area, we're only looking at a handful of quakes stretching north of the plate boundaries here uh, throughout parts of China into parts of the Middle East as well. You can see that movement, uh, a couple four, or uh, yeah, a couple fours kicking off up there and some further aftershock activity into uh, China region. Uh, but overall, man, I tell you what, it's definitely calmed down. So this is kind of interesting, a little little quiet spell. I'm wondering, I'm kind of curious to see what the uh, solar weather event that's coming up late tonight, early tomorrow morning, and over the next couple days uh, is going to do for this, um, this um, energy here on this planet. Uh, there is a little bit of movement off the west coast of Oregon, uh, or the coast of Oregon. You can see a couple uh, earthquakes there. 3.3, well away from the Cascadia subduction zone that sits off over here. Uh, stretches north to south. Uh, there's a little bit closer one, a 2.8 at a fairly deep level. 25 kilometers for that 2.8 uh, right there. Smack dab uh, in the uh, Cascadia Basin area, Blanco Fracture Zone. And also another one, uh, another smaller quake here, a 2.5, uh, right smack dab in the, uh, well, southern end of the Cascadia Megathrust area, 2.5 at 18.2 uh, kilometers. And some further movement into the uh, Sierra Nevadas here. Let's go ahead and check out the uh, all magnitudes and see if there's been any, uh, any more events that we need to take notice of. Nothing up here off the coast. Uh, a little bit of movement along the coastal ranges once again you can see the activity heightened up here from uh the uh, uh Mak makakama fault zone i think i pronounced that right it's a coastal range fault system stretches from uh, the geyser area or east of the geyser or this is west of the geyser uh stretches to the north and of course you got the hayward fault down here but we're seeing a little bit a uh, little bit not much folks just a couple small microquakes on the uh, uh, these ranges right here inland uh, east of the San Andreas fault system so watching that uh, far as the movement here near Portola over the last 24 hours looking at uh, oh, we're still kind of watching this folks this may be my uh, maybe on my next trip here if this continues or if it picks up in intensity uh, it's a ways uh, it's only a couple miles off the road there or off the highway I'm sure there's many, many back roads. Actually, there is. You can see it. It goes all the way up underneath these. Looks like a little small community back there. So uh, I may be able to get back up there and uh, see what's going on. If this thing picks up a little bit. Uh, but for now, 
a handful of microquakes taking place over the last 24 hours compared to uh, the last 48 hours where we've seen a little bit more seismically increased activity in that region. A little swarm, a little new swarm in the Benton range up here. Uh, this is kind of new. Looking at uh, mostly microquakes, there was a 2.9 earthquake there in that cluster of uh, swarming at about five. Well, this is all variable depth there. You can look at uh, the depths of these magnitudes and they're one to five to eight to 15. Um, so all over the place uh, when it comes to the depth of these microquakes. So watching this area as well, it's kind of within that vicinity of Long Valley Super Volcano. You can see the caldera outline right there, right? Super volcano. And also the line of activity there from last year's, was it last year or the year before? I don't remember. That six pointer that struck out there in Nevada. It may have been, uh, I'm pretty sure it was last year. I can't remember. Um, memory's getting bad. But either way, that six pointer they had out there, um, that fracture zone still show, showing, at least today, uh, some significant microquake activity, aftershock activity in this region. So uh, watching this little zone right there, see what happens with that uh, over the next uh, day or so. Uh, further down south, Ridgecrest, Ridgecrest just getting in on some of their aftershock activity now. It's been a what, year, couple years now since their uh, sequence of large quakes down there. Uh, but that still could continue, folks. It still could continue for uh, months ahead. Nothing significant down in Southern California at the moment. San Jacinto Fault area showing their typical plate boundary uh, uh, activity. And a little quake here in the uh, Baja California region. But let's see here. Well, I guess that's, where'd the other one go? Hold on a second here. Let me see, I could have swore there was a, uh, okay, maybe that's it. Yeah, 2.6. So not a whole lot going on on the West Coast, folks, aside from those little areas to watch. Um, Intermountain West region looking fairly uneventful. Not completely quiet, but uneventful. I don't think the USGS has added their earthquake activity from uh, a couple days ago when we seen a little spitter spatter from Yellowstone of earthquake activity. Uh, let's see if we can see what it looks like today I don't believe anything has happened today nothing this is all interference down here instrument uh, size monitor uh, interference right there I'm not for sure what causes that but it's uh, definitely not um, any type of environmental um, activity at all as far as earthquake activity goes so uh, no swarms no earthquake activity to really report over the last 24 hours. Prior to the 24 hours, yes, there was some. Um, and that's the, uh, like I said, I was kind of hoping that the uh, activity would be reported here. And it looks like maybe it has. Hold on a second here. Looks like they did report it. Uh, looks like 24th. And I believe it was down here in this area. 23rd. Yeah, there's a handful of quakes there in Yellowstone National Park. But uh, nothing big. I told you about two pointer or so. I think 2.3 was my estimate in some of the uh, larger quakes that I seen on the graphs. 2.5 looks like uh, the threshold for that. So I was pretty close. But uh, overall, um, nothing, nothing going on today, folks, in the Yellowstone area. Um, Oklahoma, you remember this area we talked about uh, last night? Still seeing some swarming going on near Quinton. Watching this area pretty closely. Six point, uh, six point. O or 6.3 seems to be the uh, the standard depth here for these earthquakes. Although it may be calming down a little bit. Not as many earthquakes as we looked at uh, uh, compared to last night. Uh, what else we got here? Globally, not a whole lot going on here, folks. I mean, really, it's not a whole lot uh, to report. Let's go ahead and check out the trimmer map. Here in the Pacific Northwest in Ca uh, California, in the Oregon, Cascadia subduction zone showing uh, looks like a renewed uptick in tremor, 142 epicenters into this area that that uh, has been pretty seismically active when it comes to tremor um, in weeks past. So uh, that's it for today. There's not, a, I mean, not a whole lot, but it's still de definitely showing some movement there in the slippage slippage area 
of the uh, Cascadia subduction zone. So, uh, space weather. What do we got here on the space weather area, folks? There's quite a bit of movement going on, or quite a bit of activity to report. Uh, today, it looks like possibly tonight. Okay, possibly tonight. Uh, looks like we could start to see the start, or the first start of the storm, G1 class storm. Uh, tomorrow night, it uh, looks like when we could see a G2, which is a moderate category size storm uh, kicking up here. You can see those uh, three-day geomagnetic forecasts. Uh, and those are still on track. These could change, could get stronger. As of right now, we're not looking at anything on the KP index as far as increase in uh, the earth or earthquake <laughs> in the solar weather department. Uh, things look pretty quiet in the aurora uh, and the density and the speeds and whatnot. So... Uh, it will be coming, it's just a matter of time uh, before it does hit the earth there. So uh, stay tuned for that. I think uh, it'd be pretty cool to see exactly what uh, could happen as we uh, uh, look towards the uh, solar storm arrival and also the uh, the potential effects that it has here on earth when it comes uh, when it comes to plate dynamics. So all right, folks, I'm going to jump off here. Have a beautiful night, a great evening out there. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the sunset video I just posted. Uh, if you haven't checked it out, go check it out. It's definitely worth uh, watching. All right, guys, have a good night. We'll chat you a little bit later. Peace out.